Right, so hello and welcome to a, uh, another Smelly Cat Creations video. Um, I just made these leadwork stamps and then I realised I've been meaning to make a video um, on how to use the stamps. I've made videos so far to help people who have bought my branding irons and I've recently made the video showing the leadwork chill moulds and the best ways to use them. So I thought it would be a good idea now before I post these out to make a quick video to show show you how I use them and how you can use them to get the best results. So what we've got here is just a piece of lead cut off of a lead roll. Uh, this has just been cut with tin snips. So as you can see, cutting it with tin snips, rolling it, it's uh, quite distorted and wavy. So this is how I do it. I just get a block of hardwood hopefully this won't bounce the camera too much I then just use the nice piece of flat wood and as a hammer give it a few few little taps I always do mine on a nice solid surface so I use a big block of aluminium like this um, you wouldn't get such a great result if you're doing it on the piece of on, on the wood surface it has a um, the wood's going to give the wood's too soft uh, so by doing it on a piece of aluminium the aluminium is much tougher than the lead and the brass is also much tougher than the lead so the only thing that's really going to give is the lead so this makes sure you get a good impression so make sure that's nice and flat or as flat as it's going to be so there that's pretty nice and flat now so then this is a two-part stamps so it's a big logo and rather than trying to produce that in one stamp uh, split it down into two stamps and the reason for that is because the greater the, sur the greater the surface area of the logo the more tonnage needed to create the impression on the lead so if you've got a really big surface area if you have really big flat areas on the logo you're not going to be able to produce that with your hammer. Uh, you'd be needing to use like a fly press or a hydraulic press to get your sort of 20, 30 tons of pressure on there. You're just not going to be able to do that with a hammer. So the less surface area you need to stamp, the uh, easier it'll be and the better the impression you'll get on the lead. So I've, this one's been done in two parts. So if you put them together, you can see They're going to go roughly like that now. So what I do just to make my life a little bit easier, make sure I line them up, is I just put this, I just draw a rough line down there with the pencil, and a line across here with the pencil. Just gives me a little guide when I put the second one on. And you won't see that once it wipes off anyway. So I've just drawn a line down the side and a line across. Um, now, you don't have to do this, but I also find this, well, this does help a lot. Um, which is to use your, your blowtorch. Doesn't have to be a map gas one. Can just be a just can just be using one of these. You got the old butane blow torches that just use the disposable cans. That will still do the trick. I just want to add a little bit of heat into this lead, just to soften it up a little bit more. Lead's already very soft, but if you could just soften it up a little bit more, you're going to get a um, a really good impression. So what I'm going to do is I give this a little bit of a quick warm up with the uh, map gas torch and then what I do is put them in place hold them securely with one hand I give them six taps with a hammer um, if you were to use a bigger mallet hammer you could probably just do it in one or two taps but to ensure that I've got a really good impression I give it six taps it's always six taps uh, then I'll take that one off come back in with the next one six taps and then I'll show you where we're at and we're just going to, need to flatten it after that. So give it a little bit of a warm. There we go, that'll just soften it up a little bit more. Come in with the first stamp. Line it up on rough against our lines that I've put on there with the pencil. Hold it securely down. Six taps, pull it away. In with the next one while the lead's still warm, line it up with the marks. There we go, six taps. And now what you can see is 
it's uh, slightly distorted it. It will have bent it. It will bend up with the um, with as you stamp it. So what you'll find is this is why this one's got the corners cut off because it didn't have the corners cut off of my photos earlier. But if you don't cut the corners off and there's nothing up there that's being stamped when it folds up, you'll you'll leave a slight mark on the lead from the uh, corner of the stamp. So I've just chopped off the excess. So you can see now there's no marks. It hasn't left a mark on them. So all we do now is just to flatten that back out, we just go back in with our bit of wood. And we just tap that. Now we've made it nice and flat again. As with the uh, chill, the lead chill molds, we're just gonna come in here with a bit of the old Bondit patination oil. Um, just get a rag. So we just get our rag, put a little bit of that on there. Wipe that over. Like so. And that's uh, that's it, that's how we use the uh, lead stamps. You can see there. The logo on there you can sort of see it coming through a bit on the back but that's it that's the logo all on there so this is an alternative for people that don't want to use the um, chill molds uh, some people prefer chill molds some people like the stamps I personally prefer the chill molds but I will say that the stamps if you want a nice um, if you want a nice subtle mark to be left on your work uh that certainly these certainly work really well so hope that's helpful to you and um if you're after a stamp or know someone that might like a stamp then get in touch They're not just for lead um i also do these stamps for well do them for i've done them for stained glass windows so i recently done work with a stained glass window stamp you can, I made a little jig, had to make a fixture in the end, see if I can get this in focus. Um, you can see this is, probably can't see it. There's a name stamped, the name JA Stained Glass is on there. So these, all with the lead stamps, with the stained glass, you see it's the, they're, in, they're like H-shaped. So what actually happens is, as you try to stamp them, as you try to stamp them with the stamp, it tries to collapse. Um, you just collapse to collapse it. So I made a little fixture for it, um, which is what I'd do if anybody else who makes stained glass windows wants one. Made a little fixture, just comes in and supports the uh, lead while you stamp it. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Come back, watch again, subscribe, like, and share this with anybody. Um, and uh, catch you again in the next video.